Good evening, it's January the 18th, 10.13 p.m. Finished installing Chase Bay's power steering. I figured I'd give a few tips on how to put it in. The first thing is obviously you want to pull the intake out. Mine was pretty easy. It's an aftermarket intake. I want you to do that. Uh, I found it easiest to pull the whole thing out and then go back with it. I did want to try doing it one piece at a time, but it became to be a pain in the butt. So, there's the old one. It was leaking. It was leaking at the ferrules. So, there. And then on the other side, too. Um, so, the first big tip I would have is uh, on the reservoir, you have two lines on the bottom. You have the big suction line there on the bottom. The next to it you have the return. So the suction goes to the pump, the return is from the cooler. I would tighten those outside of the car on the workbench. Um, Cause once you get it in there, it's pretty tight. I couldn't, I couldn't get a one inch wrench in there. I had to use the channel locks to tighten it up. So both those lines, tighten them up on the workbench and then slide it through the, uh, the bracket and then tighten the bracket down. Uh, because you are using AN fittings, it is okay to use steel wrenches. So I think on this kit, you have to use an 11 16th for the smaller fittings and a one inch for the bigger fittings. And that bolt right there is where you drain the fluid. That's a 22 uh, banjo bolt. Also to note uh, on these fittings, they're aluminum and they're coated. The coating is pretty thin. So if you're going to use steel wrenches, um, I would use uh, duct tape on, on the ends of the wrench to help prevent uh, scratching up those, that nice coating. So after the reservoir is installed, um, I would put the cooler in on the next step. Um, just to give you a reference point for your hoses when you're attaching them. Um, I had a problem. for If you have a stock sway bar, it shouldn't be a problem. But this apparently is a H&R uh, adjustable sport sway bar. And I had a hard time getting it to fit in front of the cooler. So what I did was, I, uh, I luckily they supplied the brackets that are flexible. So you can actually bend the whole thing backwards. And uh, that gave me just enough room. To put the sway bar on you do have to drop the sway bar um, to put this cooler on unless you have really small hands and are very dexterous um, but as of right now the sway bar is okay it is kind of rubbing on that right bracket there um, but not enough to really cause me an issue uh, if the sway bar moves it will probably crush the cooler but right now at this location the sway bar only twists so it shouldn't be an issue Alright, so for the fittings here on on the rack, um, take the fittings out of the hoses supplied by Chase Bays and tighten them up separately, otherwise you're going to have a hard time uh, getting them tight. Uh, so tighten them up, make sure you crush the washer, you should feel it crushed as you're doing it. And when you're tightening the crush washer on the banjo boat, um, if you have a, a 3 8 drive, or sorry, a half inch drive torque wrench, um, on that 22 millimeter bolt, I think the torque value is uh, 30 foot pounds. But if you just, you know, crank down on it with a regular uh, wrench, I think it'll be all right. It was all right for me anyway. The uh, the last thing I'm, I'm probably going to say about installing this thing is I use the uh, FCP Euro guide for the power steering reservoir. They have some good notes about actually doing the fluid flush. So I think essentially what the parts of it I used are when you put the fluid back in, you... Um, you fill it up halfway, and then you get in the car and you turn the the car to the on position. Don't turn the car actually on. Just put the key to the on position. So you unlock the wheel and then rotate the wheel uh, back and forth, lock to lock, uh, quickly. That should um, that should bleed the system pretty well. You'll see bubbles coming up, but that's just a that should just be a fluid coming back from from the cooler. And I'll post a video of, of uh, what that looks like as well. Um, and once you do that, the fluid level should drop, so you fill it back up. And once you're, you're confident with everything, get in the car, uh, put the cap back on or get in the car, turn it back on, and then rotate it back and forth 10 times. And that really should be it. Take it for a test drive, make sure there's no leaks, and you should be good to go.
Also, um, just as far as how it actually works real fast, I don't have the car up on jack, so it'll be kind of hard to, to, to show, but I'll do my best just to have kind of an idea of what you're doing. It kind of helps to know the, the, the context of the system. So that is the reservoir they provide, basically holds the fluid. And then looking down there on the bottom uh, with the black hose, the one inch hose or the five eighths inch hose, that is a, that's the supply to the pump. You can see it right there where it goes to the banjo bolt. So that's the supply to the pump. That's the suction of the pump. And then on top of the pump, uh, right there, where my flashlight is shining, that's the, that's the, the discharge hose of the pump. It comes out the top of the, of the power steering pump and it goes around. You can see it coming around with the label on there, the Chase Bay's label. That's the discharge hose. And then it goes around and it goes into the steering rack down at the bottom. It's kind of hard to see. All right, so we're here at the bottom. The, power, the discharge of the power steering pump goes into that top connection of the, of the steering rack. And it goes through the steering rack, it does its thing, um, and then it comes out, that bottom connection, that's the return. The return, Chase Base offers a return that does not have a cooler, so in that case it would go straight back to the reservoir up top, but I got the cooler, so my return is going to come out of the power steering rack, through the cooler, out that connection there, and that will go all the way back to the reservoir which is that smaller line right there going back to the reservoir. Well, I hope that helps. I only just got this thing installed this night. It hadn't leaked yet on the test drive, so hopefully, uh, hopefully these tips help you out a little bit.